regretting his 2020 decision to endorse Joe Biden, professional wrestling legend Dwayne The Rock Johnson confirmed that he will not repeat the same mistake in 2024. Welcome to Stats In. If you're just joining us, please subscribe and don't forget to turn on notifications bell for more videos. Ahead of a potential rematch between Biden and Trump, the 51-year-old Jumanji, Welcome to the Jumble star made it clear there would be no endorsement this year. Ahead of a potential rematch between Biden and Donald Trump, Johnson appeared on Fox and Friends Weekend. When host Will Kane asked him if he was satisfied with the situation in America, he replied, Well, that answer is no. Do I think we'll get better? I do. I'm an optimistic guy and I believe we can get better. The 51-year-old Jumanji, Welcome to the Jumble star made it clear that there will be no endorsements this year. In the spirit of that, there will be no endorsement. I'm not afraid of that at all, but I recognize that level of influence, Johnson said. Ahead of a potential rematch between Biden and Trump, the 51-year-old Jumanji, Welcome to the Jumble star made it clear there would be no endorsement this year. AP, ahead of a potential rematch between Biden and Donald Trump, Johnson appeared on Fox and Friends Weekend. When host Will Kane asked him if he was satisfied with the situation in America, he replied, Well, that answer is no. Do I think we'll get better? I do. I'm an optimistic guy and I believe we can get better. Unlock exclusive access to India's general election story only on the HT app. Download now. Read also, Biden repeats long debunked claims about traveling with Xi Jinping, gives himself new name and latest gaffe. Does The Rock support Trump over Biden? The 51-year-old Jumanji, Welcome to the Jumble star made it clear that there will be no endorsements this year. In the spirit of that, there will be no endorsement. I'm not afraid of that at all, but I recognize that level of influence, Johnson said. He said supporting any presidential candidate would create an incredible amount of division in our country. The endorsement I did years ago with Biden was a decision I thought was the best decision for me at the time, the wrestler said, adding, would I do it again this year? This answer is no. He admitted that he realized his goal was to unite this country, saying, I will keep my politics to myself. The WWE executive also said that he has full confidence in the Americans and they will choose the right candidate for the White House. It's between me and the ballot box. Like many of us out there, I don't trust all politicians. I trust the American people and who they vote for. This is my president who I will support 100%. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. Regretting his 2020 decision to endorse Joe Biden, professional wrestling.